welcome back to Everything Dogs 10 Minute Training Tip. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and if you're on YouTube, hit the little gray bell so you'll get a notification when we are uploading another video. All right, so in this week's 10 Minute Tip, I am gonna show you the three steps to lure reward training so you can get rid of holding food in your hand. You're in, you will continue to reinforce the dog for the correct behavior. But I don't want you having to reach in your pocket or wave around a piece of pork chop and say, hey doggy, you know, sit or lay down, right? We want the dog to do it because they have learned when you make this hand signal, that sit, or when you make this hand signal, that sit, or when you snap your fingers and point, that's it. Whatever your hand signal is, signal is, is, is irrelevant. But we want them to do it because you've been through this a uh, three-step process, as is your dog. So let me explain them to you first, and then I'm gonna show them with Geo. When you're first training a dog to do any behavior, you will have a lot of treats. And if you haven't already seen the 10-minute trip on 10-minute training tip on mass and why it's important to build mass in the behaviors you want, you should go and look at that one. So when you start training, you're gonna have a lot of food. You're going to uh, release, Let's say he doesn't know how to sit. So you're gonna have a handful of food. For me, I'm gonna lure his head up and then I'm gonna boom, treat, treat, four, five, six, right? This is all building mass. Good boy. Okay, release, right? Then I'm gonna do it again with the lure, right? And the dog's gonna do it and, and you give them the lure and again, you're gonna give them 10 pieces of food when, you're, when, um, when he's in the right position. Now, once your dog is like luring real easy, boom, right into the sit, great. Now what you're going to do is you will, you're going to lure into the sit, that treat goes away, and you will reinforce with the treats that you're holding in your other hand. It can come back to reinforce later, but the point is the dog sees it go away and goes, wait a minute, what's happening? Oh, here comes the reinforcements from your other hand, okay? That's why that step is important. Now the third step, and this is where it all goes to heck in a handbasket, okay? Is if I have been holding my hand like this as my lure, okay? Then I'm gonna say, okay, well, I'm not gonna hold food anymore, I'm gonna get rid of my hand. Okay, and now, now I do this. Okay, not the same. Your dog is reading your body language. Holding your hand like this versus like this is not the same. So what you need to do is pay attention. Okay, when I'm holding a treat, treat lure, this is how I'm doing it. Maybe you're pointing, right? If you're pointing, the treat's gonna be in these three fingers here and you're gonna, and you're gonna lure them that way, okay? So let's just, I'm gonna go with what I naturally do. Here's my treat. This is my lure for the sit. He gets it. Now I'm gonna hold my hand as if I'm holding the lure, but I am not, release and I'm gonna make that same movement. But I'm not gonna reinforce that because he jumped. Same movement, boom. And then you still have food ready and you will always, 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 always reinforce the proper behavior, right? That met criteria. So let's just go through it again. First it's lure, they get the lure and they get 10 other treats from the other hand. Then the second step is you will lure take that one away and then you're going to reinforce from your other hand still 10 to 20 pieces of food treat. Finally, no food in your hand but hold your hand exactly the same way as if there was food in your hand. Release. Make that same hand signal, boom, and then you're going to reinforce with your other hand, okay? Those are the three steps of lure reward. When I first started training, everybody's like, oh, you're just bribing the dog, or I need to have food in my hand, and you don't. If you go through these steps properly, you will not need to walk around with food in your hand. Now, the other thing is, once your dog will sit, right, with the hand signal and or the verbal, you might want to have food someplace else, and you're going to go get that food, and then you're going to start to reinforce. So there's no food in anywhere, you're not holding on to it at, at all either. All right, so let's just try a little experiment with Geo, and we're gonna do a brand new behavior, which is gonna be something simple like a spin, something he's never done, who knows. So he, treats in my hand, turn him around, feed, feed, feed. Lure around, feed, feed, feed. 
lure around, feed, feed. Good boy, right? So he's easily following that lure. Do it again, good boy, right? I'm feeding him at the end of that behavior. Now I'm gonna hold the lure. I still have treats in my other hand. Come on over here. Turn him around, that one goes away, and now I'm gonna feed him from my other hand, okay? Turn him with the lure, that goes away, and now I'm gonna just feed him. Okay, now lastly, do not stay at any of these. The, you're gonna stay at the lure reward initial training the longest. The lure and get rid of the lure and feed three or four times tops and move on. Don't get stuck there, okay? Now, holding my hand exactly as if I had food, you almost think of it as tricking him. Come here, turning him around. <laughs> you ready? Have him follow my hand. Oh, come on, Gio. Ready? Follow it around. No, so what's he saying? He's saying, hey, I'm not ready for that one, right? So I will go back to the second step. Lure, turn him, that goes away, and I'm gonna feed him with my other hand. I'll do that again. Lure, that one goes away, and feed him with your other hand. So one more, which will be the third time. Lure, so now he's looking to the other hand, right? He's not so stuck with the lure hand. So let's ask the question again. Can you do it without the lure? So no lure, hold my hand, spin him around, yes, good boy. That was a beautiful example of how to go back. So again, no food in the hand, ready? Turn him around, yeah, good boy, nice. Feed, 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 feed. One more, turn him again, no food, feed, feed, feed. Good boy, go to bed. Missed. All right, guys. Three steps of lure reward so that you do not have to have food in your hand or feel like you're bribing your dog or waving it in their face. It's really important. Don't get stuck in any of those steps too long. Okay, the first one's lure your dog, feed, 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 feed. That's the one you might stay at, like uh, for maybe a couple of days, maybe a couple of training sessions. If you don't feel like you're getting the behavior fast enough, then you need to check are you using high enough value food, chicken, cheese, pork, steaks, handmade, homemade things, meatballs from the grocery store. I don't use dog treats for any of this stuff, okay? Not to get it started. So if you feel like you're really struggling with the lure, check your generosity. Are you making it worth your dog's while? Are you feeding them enough food for solving the puzzle of whatever the behavior is you're teaching them? And then are you using high enough value food? Okay, so let's say you're using high enough value food. Get back on your bed. You're using high enough value food and you're being super generous. And you're and now you take out the you take out the treat and your lure, the dog's like boom, sits down right away. Okay, perfect. You're ready to move on. Now you're gonna move on to lure. The lure goes away, feed, feed, feed with your other hand. That's where I don't want you to get stuck too long three times and then ask the question, doggy, do you understand this hand signal? Can you do it without a food treat in my hand? And what Gio showed us after with just that quick spin is yes, he can. Okay, you guys, be sure you like our Facebook page, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I can't wait to see you next week for our next 10 minute training tip. Have fun with Lure Reward.